Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I am going to be doing video number three for Valentine's projects, embellishments, whatever it is that I <laughs> intend to do for the video. Um, today I am going to be making the little honey pot shakers um, that I had spoke about in the last two videos, I believe. And this is what it's going to be looking like. Um, I am going to be doing a yellow version this time. Um, and this was the pink one. And this is going to be the last, I think, of my honey-related Valentine projects. And then I'm going to move on to something else. But um, I thought I would go ahead and make a process video. And I want to just share with you guys, in case you guys have not seen my video yet, of the embellishments that I've already made. Just so you guys can get a quick glimpse of them. So I have two process videos already out and I had created some beehive embellishments and they just look like this, just a quick glance. And I also made some little bee dippers, I mean bee dippers, <laughs> little honey dippers. So they look like this. And I just have them dipped in some little heart confetti sequins. Or heart confetti, not really sequins. Or whatever you want to call them. But they look like that. And these are going to be going with the little um, honey pots. However, I'm only going to make one. I've only done one. Um, I haven't done shakers in quite a while. So um, <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm only doing a couple right now. And normally I use poster board for my shakers, but they are nowhere near me right now. And I'm not trying to grab some from the garage, so I'm just going to work with what I got. And if you guys want to... Let me just... <laughs> how to fix that. Um, if you guys would like to see those videos, I'll have them linked down below. I'll also have like a little card up here if you guys would like um, to just click on that. Um or whatever you would like to do. So a lot of this is probably going to be done off camera just because um, it's just going to be a lot of gluing, but I'll do what I can and speed up what I can. So the first die I'm going to share with you is the KS Craft Honey Pot um, Shaker Die. I will have this link down below. I'll have it on my Amazon storefront as well as for Allie. Um, I know Amazon's prices are different. However, you do get them quicker. Um, and I am affiliated with um, Amazon, so I do make a little, or I do get a small commission from that. Um, but yeah, so, um, I do get a small commission from you using the, um, link that I put there for Amazon, but I'm not going to force you to buy anything from there because I know the prices are different. So no one has ever forced to use my links. It's all up to you. So that's the first die, um, that I'm going to share with you guys. So with the die, it comes with two pieces for the actual honey pot. So I have this backing piece right here, which I die cut out of pink cardstock. This was already die cut and I did not want to have to die cut another um, piece of paper. So I decided just to do a pink and yellow pot. I know it would be better to have yellow in the back, but it's okay. It will be fine. So I have these two pieces cut and then for the backing one, you want to die cut that out of acetate as well. So I do have this piece of acetate right here that's going to get glued behind this outline piece. So I'm just going to be using liquid glue for that part. And then once I get that down, I'm going to take some foam tape and I'm going to put foam tape on the back of the acetate piece. So I'm going to do all of that. I might speed it up, cut it out, whichever, or, and then, um, We'll continue with all of that. Um, I'm also going to be putting on my little honey pieces. So this is the honey drip that goes on the pot and that I'm going to put on top of my acetate. I kind of like the look of it being on the top. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then there's this little opening for the can um, that shows what's inside and I die cut that out of this yellow paper that I shared in my last video. And this glitter paper is from an old Halloween paper pad. And it has this like yellow background 
um, color and then the glitter is on top, which I really do like. So I'm gonna be using that as the drip and that's gonna get glued onto the right hand side. Um, and then that'll be it for now. The embellishing will come after. I have my two B's over here drying off to the side. Um, I just did them out of pink. I did do yellow for the other bees, so this time I'm doing pink. And I'm going to go ahead and just get started on gluing these pieces down. So what I'm going to do is, because this has to get lined up with this edge right here, it's going to go right up against here, like so. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, add some glue to this outline and I'm just going to put it here and when I glue on to acetate I try to stay on the outer edge <laughs> I'm a little shaky I don't know lately I've been shaky but um yeah I tried to stay on the outer edge because the glue sometimes moves around on the acetate and then you just end up with glue marks on there. So, you know, just try to stay on the outer edge. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just put this on here. Like so. And before the glue dries, I'm going to take my honey drip and I'm just going to glue that down. So I'm just going to add some glue. To get that lined up, I am going to tuck it underneath the pot. Or did I do it over? Okay, I did it on top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And it just lines up like this. How cute is that already looking? And I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. And you can pop this part up, but I'm just going to glue it flat onto here like this. Okay. Now, I'm gonna clean the back of this because I have fingerprints on here. I like to just use a little alcohol swab or wipe. And I keep alcohol wipes in my craft room. So I'm just gonna use some to wipe it down here. And I am gonna wipe the front as well a little bit. If you get glue onto, oh, I did not mean to get it all over my cardstock. Oh well. Um, if you do end up getting like glue on there before it dries, if you use an alcohol wipe, I noticed that it does help it um, so that you don't get like stains on there. But okay. I shouldn't. <laughs> I went a little crazy on the alcohol on the paper, but it's okay. It's not going to do anything to it. Okay. So this is what it looks like once it's all glued. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foam tape. So I'm going to turn this over and I have this scrapbook adhesives. I'll leave this down below. Um, foam tape and I'm just going to put this on around the honey pot and then also on the top so that way that doesn't um, bend down. this and the tape for the outer edge is a little thick so what I have to do is I usually have to cut my foam so I'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, and then the best way to put your foam tape is taking the backing off. So I'm just going to slowly take the backing off and put the tape down. 
because the paper sometimes makes it hard to put your to move your foam around Sorry about that. I probably got cut off because I did get a phone call, so I had to turn the camera off. But um, I went ahead and I added my foam tape. And the little squares are actually scrapbook.com adhesive as well. So I'll have both of them down below. But they're just these little squares, and they're the exact same height. So I can use both together. And what I'm going to do now is create the shaker part. So I do have this shaker mix that I have already made or that I have already made <laughs> that I had made off camera and I've had this ready for the past like three days um so I kind of already had this planned out but this is let me share with you guys how the mix looks there's some bumblebees in there um I have little clay femo bows um that look like butterflies are they butterflies hmm huh, maybe I don't know <laughs> I just bought them so um because they look cute and then I have the same pink and yellow hearts that I used on the little dippers that I made and then I just included um some more pink sequins in the mix so that's what the mix looks like and usually I like to make the mixes on camera but like I said I already had this kind of um pre-planned so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this in here and I'm going to flatten this out and I'm going to try to move the clay pieces around because those are what gets clunky or not clunky but like it could stop your shaker from shaking so I'm going to go ahead and move that around and then now I'm going to go ahead and line up my backing piece which is 110 pound paper and I'm going to place this onto here so I'm going to have to move this closer. <laughs> I don't want my big head to get in there. Okay. So now that's all on there. I'm just going to push onto the edge. Bam. How cute. Look at this mix. Look at the little bumblebees inside. Adorable. I love it. This is how my mix looks. And it's the exact same mix that I have in this one. So there is the shaker part and now it's all about the embellishing. So pretty simple once you have everything die cut. And um, now I'm gonna go ahead and put together this honey piece. This honey came from the same die that the um, honey pot comes in. Um, it also includes, so if you guys get this die, you can also make the matching dippers. And I'm going to go ahead and layer these onto each other. So I have two colors here and right here, I don't know if you guys can see on the honey, I have some glitter on the edges of the word. And so I'm going to do that to this one as well. And I just offset them just to give it a little bit of a shadow. And I'm going to put the darker one on top for this. So I'm just going to add glue here. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and glitter this up. So what I'm going to do is take my um, glue and I used white on this one. I think I'm going to use some pink glitter. So I have some pink glitter here on the side. I'm going to go ahead and do it on here just in case. Okay, and I'm just going to add it to the outer edge of the word, or each letter. Okay. 
Okay, so once I got the glue on there, I'm just gonna pour some glitter. Oh! Okay. Um, I just was not trying to touch that glue. But my whole finger went in there. Okay. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to dump this back in here. I don't want this getting anywhere, so I'll cover this up. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the glitter. So I just put pink glitter on there. It looks so pretty. I love the pink and pink, um, or the pink on pink tone, or <laughs> the pink tone on tone um, that it gives. And this white one, kind of the glue dried clear, so it blends in very well with the yellow. So I can't wait for this one to dry and see how it's going to look. Um, but that's gonna go right here, just like the last one. And then, Let's go ahead and do that one first. I am going to add some hot glue to this. And I'm going to use some tweezers. I'll just put it here. And I just add hot glue to wherever it's thick. The letter is thick. Okay, perfect. So there's that. And then next, I'm going to add my bumblebees. So, do this one first. Okay, then I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and create these flowers. So I'll probably speed this one up because I did show this when making my beehives. And this die will be linked down below as well. Um, these are a Amazon die. Okay, so now I'm going to add the little centers to my flowers. However, I am short on a skinny heart, so I'm just going to try this one. And this die is from KS Craft. It is a KS Craft Valentine sequin die. I will have the links for this one as well. These dies are all the same as my last two videos. Um, it'll change soon, I promise. But... Um, as for right now, they are basically the same. But in case you haven't seen those videos, I will link them down below. So I am going to use hot glue. Okay, perfect. So now that I have those in the center, I'm going to lift up my petals. And if my fingers or my nails can't go underneath, I just use my tweezers or something to go underneath.
Okay, perfect. And um, I see that I have another heart right here, so I'm going to go ahead and use one. This one. And I'm just going to use some liquid glue to glue this on. Okay, and for this one, um, as you guys can see, yeah. So as a as you guys can see on this one, I do have these little yellow flowers um, in the little cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some pink ones to this one since the pot is yellow. And this is what I did with my little. I keep saying little. I don't know why, <laughs> but with these dippers, I went ahead and I used these pink ones. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here as well. And I think I need three because I have two on the bottom. And these are just nail charms. So you can use whatever you have. It does not have to be the exact same things. Okay. All right. So now that I have those flowers on there, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is just do my little bee trail. So if you guys have seen my beehive video, I have a little bee trail on my embellishment. So on this one, you guys can see the little diamond dots right here. So I'm going to do the same thing to my pot and I just have a little, I said little again. Sorry guys, <laughs> I did three here, so we'll start with that. And I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna go with pink this time, since I used the pink flowers. And I'm just gonna put some in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and share with you guys, oops, the finished embellishment. Okay, you guys, so here it is. I am loving this yellow honey pot. And it's a shaker you can um, stamp on the back to and from, and you can make it into a tag, just like I said with these little, I keep saying little, <laughs> with these um, beehive embellishments. You can even turn these into tags. You literally just have to put like a little loop or put some string. You can cut a, um, punch out a hole um, and then put to and from and make them into tags. And you could do the same with this. You can make it a really big tag. But how adorable did this turn out? I am loving the sequin mix inside. And this is the other one. So the pink and yellow one. And that's how they look. Um, again, if you guys are interested in these other embellishments, if you guys would like to see the process videos of me putting these together I will make sure to have those videos linked down below for you guys um, I hope you guys are enjoying the little honey or the bee themed um, embellishments um, I believe my next video will be different I'm kind of going for a card next time so I do want to make a couple Valentine's Day cards because I have a stamp set that I've been wanting to use that I've had in my stash from the stamp market so that's my plan um, if you guys are into 
making cards or you guys want to try to make cards um you know keep an eye out for that video but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i hope that you guys have a great day whatever day it is that y'all are watching this um and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye